All right, guys, I want to go over two infrared. I think it's uh, probably the two main, uh, the sight mark photon and the ATN. All right, for, to go from day night on the uh, sight mark photon, you will leave the lens closed for day. There's a little peephole right there. And uh, to just simply go tonight is simple, very ergonomic. Very easy to use. You can sight this in daytime or nighttime. This one you can sight in daytime or nighttime also. It's just not so ergonomic on how to do. You have to go in your menus and you have to go through your menus and, and actually switch it from day to night, which is not a problem. If you are if you know ahead of time you're hunting night, just go ahead and switch it. Uh, really easy to sight in day or night. Let's start with uh, IRs. This one comes with the IR already mounted. Now these are a little bit older models than uh, what they're selling now. But this one comes with the IR right here. Uh, I do recommend buying either scope. And on your IRs, I do recommend buying external uh, UMV20 IR. It's an ultimate night vision. I recommend getting it for either model because this neither one of these are just extremely bright depending on your distance and all that. Uh, I normally just take this one off. I do not like this one because it takes the R123s. Uh, they, they use them very quickly. And uh, I do like this one because if you are going to run either one, I like this one because this, this particular unit, it uh, takes two double A's which runs your IR and your scope. Uh, you can turn this light up, down, or off. Um, this one has also up, down, or off on brightness. Uh, this one, let's go over the how they turn on. This one, you turn the IR on and it turns everything on. And you can look in there and see your brightness and whatever. This one, you have to hold this for quite some time. However long that was, the crosshairs just come up when I removed my face. Now to turn off, you'll hold for three seconds. And it'll shut off. This one is a black and white screen with green or red and different mill dots or dots or sights or whatever you want to call them. I'm not a real technical, I'm just a shooter. This one, you can go from, I think, a black and white to a green to a red which would be red and black or, or green and black. I do like that better. I think one of the brand new models that may not have been out yet on this one has that. You can turn your brightness and dimness up and down with this. This one I believe you can do the same by arrows. This one is a lot easier to work. This one, you've got to go through the menus. This one also has Wi-Fi and GPS. With your Wi-Fi, if you have a friend hunting with you, you can uh, he can watch what you're watching through your scope. I like the mounting brackets for the uh, sight mark that aren't built into the system like this one is, simply because if I wanted to put it on a, a rifle that did not have rails, you know, regular scope mounts will work with it. With the ATN, you're limited strictly to rifles that have rails of some sort. You know, you're you're strictly you're restricted strictly to those rifles. Uh, this, this this system, I don't know the I don't know if these are 30 millimeter, one inch, or what size rings these are. But you're you as long as you can get that ring and, and adapt it to your your system, uh, you're good. Go over another thing. Uh, if you do like recording, this one has an internal recording capability, and this one does take four batteries. This one takes two, four double A's versus two double A's. Right here's where your batteries go. And that is where your micro SD card goes in there. Now, if you do want to record with your sight mark, you're going to need to get an external DVR. Uh, it plugs in here. Here's your switch to turn it off and on. It makes a vibrating to let you know if it's off or on. And uh, you'll have to get a DVR pack like this, a mini DVR pack like this, and it takes an SD card and it's rechargeable. <coughs> 
Now my problem with this one is on all the controls on it to recite it every time I have to go watch their video. This one for recite is extremely easy. There's not a lot of menus in there. There's not a lot of options. Uh, you know, it, it's really easy. I have a real good video on how to cite this in. Uh, I might leave that in the link in the description box below. So, so if you've made it this far, in the words of CRS Firearms, uh, leave in the description box below which one you'd purchase. I've already made up my mind. If you're looking for a good used ATN, I recently uh, have one for sale. Thanks for watching. Enjoy.